Like that, there you go. Are you aiming it down? Okay, you know what? <laughs> now I look See, look at that. April Fools. Hello, friends. It's me. And Digital Next. Don't sound so damn depressed. My supporting actress. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're here to give you some very good ideas for some very family friendly wholesome April Fool's pranks that you can do on your friends, family, teacher, principal, you name it. I don't think you can pull a prank on your principal. Unless you want to get suspended. It's a good way not to go to school. April Fool's Day at the library. Do not touch the snake. Oh my god. So just leave an empty cage on the table and put a sign that says do not touch the snake. All the kids are going to be looking around like but, but where's the snake? What if you did that with a dog cage and you said, In don't touch the rubber What? It would be a very small snake. <laughs> But it's like they're supposed to panic. They're gonna be like, oh, where's the snake? There's no snake in this cage. What's going on? It's somewhere around here. April Fools on your very small child freeze their cereal. So when they try to dig into their Fruit Loops, <laughs> joke's on you, Billy. You going to school hungry <laughs> not, today? Not only are you going to school hungry, but you're also adopted. So good job. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally do April this Fools, to my... you thought I was a real dad? That's what I would do. <laughs> what would you do if you found out you were adopted? I would disown my adopted parents. I'd be like, <laughs> y'all lied to me far too long. Y'all were so I'm... good with the lies. Would you find your real parents? No, because they probably want money from me or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one is really good. They fried oh a piece of God. cardboard. I was like, bone apple teeth, fried chicken. A piece of cardboard stuck that bad boy into the egg, into the flour, coated it with panko, and fried it. And Look at it. Look at the end result. That looked like a mighty fine piece of chicken. I would you agree? I would eat it, and when I found out it was carbon, I'd be like, mm, it's not like it tastes any different from your <laughs> usual cooking, so who's the joke really on? I would eat it. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid. Every time I like pause, I was like, wait! That it's like whenever I pause for a while and then say something, he just starts. <laughs> Waiting, I'm like, she gonna say something? She like Stop. broken You're or something? What's to, going you're on? Supposed to let me finish. I want you to do that to sausage and see what he says. I bet he would eat it. You think? <laughs> you think he would just be nice enough to be like, mm, it's, it's okay, yeah. Mm. No, he spit out. Be like, what is this? <laughs> he, he ain't like that. He's it's, very it's, honest. It's, it's our finest cut from our flat screen we ordered. Uh, <laughs> the finest cut from our garage. Oh no. <laughs> hey girl, that party we had last night was. Epic, but we have all these balloons left over to pop. Wanna help? Take this thumbtack. Simply pop one balloon over your head, like so. And another one. And one more. Aw, oh, man. You never would have guessed that third one was filled with water. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'd be mad. <laughs> I'd take that thumbtack and stick it in your leg. What? That party was epic. Let's pop balloons over our heads. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't suspicious at all. <laughs> you lucky was water. What else was it gonna be? Party juice. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Text a GIF of the typing symbol to make your friends wait for a response that never comes. Okay, okay. And then a GIF of the typing so they get anxiety all day. Literally all day. Like, what are they saying? Or say, say, I, I need to talk. We need to have a talk. Yo. We're about to do this right now. Let's try it on sausage. <laughs> Watch him come in. Here. Just be like, we need to talk. He knows we're doing a video, so he's gonna be like, no, 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 no. Now he ain't gonna rush out of his seat. Perfect for your friends with mild to severe anxiety. Okay, so we're gonna try this out. We got strawberry frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and a sponge, and we're gonna make a cake. Oh, she looking good. Baby, I made you a snack. Aww. Isn't that cute? Ooh, what is it? It's another birthday snack. Ask your birthday ah. snack. Take a uh. bite. Take a bite. <laughs> Why is it hard? April Fools. What is it? Oh, it's a sponge. Yeah. Uh. You guys are so loud. This one is for the old person in your life who is not good with computers that has mild anxiety. <laughs> mild anxiety? Is that the just, blue screen of death? Yeah, but just hide all of the desktop icons and then make this the background. And then it looks like they have a blue screen of death, but they don't. That would trip me out. I think my first reaction would be to punch my computer to make sure it works. Now you know what I do? The good old unplug the power. Unplug it. <laughs> 
and then plug it I back feel, in. I feel so bad for it when I do that. I'm like, okay, sorry. Just, <laughs> just pull the plug. Time to say goodbye just for a sec. Do you ever still blow into stuff to make sure it works? A USB. Yeah, plug. like a USB just and then you plug it back in. So you like blowing things. It used to work for the, the NES cartridges. Okay, like. next up we got the good old glue splooge prank on the laptop. <laughs> oh so no. So you go to your laptop like, oh no, somebody spilled glue, was it you? What make this joke even funnier is you took that away. That ain't glue. <laughs> <laughs> if you took away the glue and put a bottle of lotion and some Kleenex next to it. <laughs> So basically you get like a square of glass or like a mirror or something like some kind of surface. Splooge some glue all over it. Why are you Man. saying splooge? <laughs> that's what it is. It's a splooge of glue. Y'all get it and then put it on the laptop and then your teacher walks in like, oh no. It's all over there my goes. laptop. You, you darn kids, you did it again. Yeah. Another one that you could do. Oh, this one's even worse. Would you be mad if I did polish. this to your carpet? Yeah, I would be livid. livid? I would be livid if I saw this. Where's, where's that on, on the map? Mad scale, like there's mad, and then there's this. There's this mad, mad even, and then there's livid. <laughs> livid. So empty nail polish container, or you can use like clear nail polish or whatever. Acrylic paint and glue. Oh, it's paint. It sounds like Pepto Bismol. Mix, <laughs> mix it up real good. Spill a little bit. Let it dry like that, and then oh, they put it on the carpet. Oh, that is a nightmare. Once nail polish goes on the carpet, ain't no getting nail polish out. Like that would give me a heart attack. Oh no. <laughs> This happened to me today. Legit. Literally. <laughs> what a coincidence. Wow. Nothing like Starbucks on your new laptop. And it didn't even have to April Fool's. I, it wasn't even April Fool's. You know, it's just my life. Yeah, so this is the same deal with the glue. That happened twice but to you. And this happens to me on the daily. Does it really? You're just naturally clumsy, aren't you? Yeah, this, ha this happens a lot. Oh, yeah, both of the times I was with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this happens to me a lot. But yeah, this is clear glue. Plus, I don't know, some brown paint that they mix with it or something. What do you get for the ice cubes? I don't know. How did they make that? Who is this art major that's submitting <laughs> their, their April <laughs> Fool's joke? Man, I ain't got time to, yeah, to create a masterpiece over this. here. That, that's pretty good. Make a skirt. Put it on the boys' restroom. Oh, we should do that and see if anyone really falls for it and just record the <laughs> yeah. No, like, we should legit. I feel like this scams girls because girls think it's a girls' restroom, so the girl walks in. The scams boat. Oh, oh, yeah, wait. Yeah, because you can't make the girl into a guy, but you can make the guy into a girl. You just add a skirt. <laughs> Wear a skirt. But yeah, you can probably mess with some people like this. I've done this a few times. I went to the boys' bathroom. Have you? I walk right out. <laughs> I went in the guys' bathroom a couple times on purpose just because like the girls' line was like so long and there was absolutely nobody in the guys' bathroom. So I was like, nah, I ain't waiting. This That's long awkward. Time. I have a hard enough time having people <laughs> hear me like use the restroom. I don't want people knowing like when like but there's no one in my it. stream hits the water. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't do this. Actually, I will fall for this and then I'll if you do it, record it. I'll be very upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you do this, you gotta record it. Put a note on someone else's car that says, sorry about the damage. Had to leave and watch them look all over for the non-existent damage. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, I think I'd be a little mad. I'd be like, oh my I'd be God. like, what happened? Who did this? And I'll every inch of my car like somebody did something. Who done messed up my car, man? What if, what if they EMP'd it? What? <laughs> I swear, we should do this. We should just like leave notes on people's car. So you want to go to like the mall chill, and just, just leave a bunch of the, notes on yes, their car? Yes, and then okay. just chill in the parking lot and like watch them. Record the reaction. And then just be like, where? Where? Look at this dude. Got a box full of lies. <laughs> bringing, lies and deceit. <laughs> bringing to work to all the people who did him wrong. Today is their day. What if someone kept eating it? <laughs> You would probably do that. I don't know. I don't. I, I, I don't bread. like jelly filled donuts. I think they're the worst. But it's custard. You look at it and it's like, ooh, custard. I hella love custard filled donuts if I could have them. You? I, I don't like custard. I love custard. But it's like, it's a donut. Wouldn't you be like, mmm, donut? Certain donuts. I don't like sprinkles, man. Mm -hmm. You would eat it and be like, this donut tastes dank. <laughs> And then I'd find him and I'd beat him up. One person had to have eaten this be like, damn, all the good donut. What was that? <laughs> mm, Cream cheese? La, la mayonnaise. Yeah. <laughs> I put a 
bowl of Skittles, M&M's, and Reese's Pieces in the break room this morning. Went in there at lunch to find this. Oh, first of all, you evil for this. Like anybody who, who takes a handful, I know you would take a handful of it. A uh, Skittles? You get Skittles, M&M's, and Reese's Pieces all in the same Well, bite. Skittles are my favorite, so I would <laughs> dip like that, and then I would just kind of like, you know, uh, not, you not shovel them, but I let them just fall you in my nasty. mouth. nasty. How am I nasty? Skittles, Reese's, and M&M's in one bite. I'm talking about that. I wouldn't do it on purpose. Like, if I didn't know it was, like, three different things, I would think it's all Skittles. I'd be like, oh, Skittles my favorite. The, the whole point is that you're gonna get peanut butter and Skittles and chocolate. And the whole point is me not to know bite. that. So, of course... Yeah, his <laughs> taste buds are broken. He wouldn't even... I know, I, I'm, I'm... He'd be like... Candy. Right, right. Listen, listen to me. I'm tired of you telling me I have broken taste you buds. You do. I don't have broken taste buds. He does. He drank tea and then he was like, this tastes like water. I'm like, it's got so much flavor in it. You say it tastes like water. Is tea not like 50% water? It's more than 50. It's like 90 something. Okay, so then I clearly tasted 90% of the water that was in so there. So is coffee, but you don't drink coffee and be like, this tastes like water. I don't, I don't drink coffee. I drink coffee. I'm like, wow, I'd rather have a hot chocolate. What's the point? You ain't got no caffeine. I don't need the caffeine. I need caffeine. Whoever you are who did this has no soul and I hope you are happy with yourself It's just wrong and you should be ashamed. I don't know how to respond to that <laughs> It's like you're ended after that entire existence obliterated. Oh, if I did this to sausage oh, I think sausage oh, would have a hard heart time attack, with that. Like heart attack if I did this to him Like you just cut out an outline shape of a cockroach that you put it on a lamp Oh, I, I really want to do this to him. He would be terrified. He would be terrified like this is not okay for him it have to be a mouse for me to figure out. I don't care about bugs. Bugs yeah, are nothing. Yeah. No, whenever there's a fly, a fly, he'll tell me to come kill it. There's some quarter-sized flies here. Like, I don't know what they eat. They be eating good. And like, I just killed a bad boy this big today. It's all the radiation up here. It's so fat, too. It's so fat, like it's slow. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you like, fly slow? Like, I go, like, it's chilling Ugh. on the ground, and then I go to, like, get a tissue, and then... And it's dead. Like, it didn't even have time to react. The reaction time was so slow. <laughs> I've been dropping these behind me while I walk in public. Lol, dummy. Okay, that's actually pretty good. You just walk and you drop one, casually drop one, and then all these thirsty hyenas running behind you like, Oh, a hundred! Like, not even like, excuse me, sir, you drop this. Like, no, if you drop a hundred, they snatch it for themselves. You, you didn't tell me you wouldn't run to pick up a hundred? No. Hell yeah, I would! I would give it back to the person. You ever seen that picture of Spider-Man when Batman and Iron Man are fighting? That'd be me reaching for all the the money, I'm like, oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> This is how you get the sound. Ooh, those poppers. And then put them on the toilet and then shut it gently. So they're still activated. And then when somebody sits down. It just pops? Yes. Having you thrown these is a hella loud. Yeah, I've thrown them. Yeah, but imagine them being on your butt. Are when we... you think you're safe, sitting on the toilet seat with a door locked. But what if you're constipated and this happens to you? And you think and then every just... And then you get so scared that everything shoots out. And you're like, oh my god, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you helped me. <laughs> Cleared my insides real good. <laughs> so this is one that you could do on your mom. So this guy knew his mom was gonna ask him to do the dishes. So on her phone, he changed do the dishes to go play video games and I'll order you pizza. So mom was like, can you go play video games and I'll order you pizza? Sure thing, mom. No, I said, go play video games and I'll order you pizza. You don't have to say it twice, but okay, mom. No, don't do that. My phone, change it. I mean to say, <laughs> such a mom do thing. dishes, I know. <laughs> such a mom thing. My mom does this, like, you, you don't, better don't, not. Don't do this, you, you don't better do this. Not. You better not, no, 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 the faster I do this, the more you will not do it. Can I still get pizza though? No. no. Hey guys, so April Fools is coming out, but so is Easter. It's actually on the same day this year. I wanted to make sure that you were prepared, so today we're doing more April Fools prank. Part two! You know your friend with anxiety? Text them a GIF of the typing symbol to make them wait for a response that they'll never get. Just be like, we need to talk. And then send them this little GIF. I know if they're anything like me, they'll be like, what do they want to talk about? Why are they typing so long? Two hours later. Oh my god, they're still typing. What did I do? Then you start thinking real long and hard. Okay, maybe that's a little mean. <laughs> Say do that to your boyfriend or girlfriend. For added anxiety. Here's another harmless prank you can do. Find the most expensive car in the parking lot. Oh, you can do it on your friend's car. Leave a note on the car that says, sorry for the damage, had to leave. But there's no damage. There's only a note that says there's damage. For added fun, sit in your car and wait for them to get back. And watch them walk around their car like, somebody did something but I can't find 
loved it. That would really piss me off. If you can get into somebody's phone, change their autocorrect shortcut. I knew my mom was gonna ask me to do the dishes, so I changed do the dishes in her phone. Throw that ass in a circle when you're home. <gasps> mom, like for real, chill. Tara, I am saying, throw that ass in a circle when you get home. <laughs> <gasps> What's going on? Hello? Tara? Tara cannot come to the phone right now. Throw that ass in a circle. Tara. Are you okay? Tara, I don't know what to do. Honestly, me either, mommy. I said when you get home. Throw that ass in a circle. <laughs> Poor moms. They don't know how to fix this. My brother has been replacing family photos with pics of Steam Buscemi and my mom hasn't noticed. I think I said his name wrong. I introduced you as Buscemi. Because of my extensive research, I yeah. learned that that's how you pronounce your last name. That's true. Even though everyone else in the entire world <laughs> pronounces it Buscemi. But yeah, take those family photos, Swap them out with, I don't know, your favorite singer, your mom's ex-boyfriend, or even Goku. I would do Goku. This one's a little, I don't know. Buy rubber duckies and hide them places. You can buy 50 rubber ducks on Amazon for $20. So if you got a spare $20, go right ahead. For added fun, I would get a Sharpie and then like, X out their eyes, maybe write a, write a nice little message, like DIE. Really creep people out. Buy a regular pack of donuts and put a sign on it that says April Fools! And then everybody will like inspect the donuts, be like, what's wrong with these? They look so good. But I know it's a trap, but it really isn't. And then they're just missing out on some donuts that there is absolutely nothing wrong with. <laughs> Speaking of donuts, this terrible person is filling donuts with mayonnaise! I feel so bad for anybody who took a bite out of those. <laughs> Man, I would do this if I hated everyone in my school. Or everyone in my work. You could do it with Oreos too, but toothpaste. Not as bad as mayo, but at least your breath won't stink. Krispy Kreme donuts! April Fools! There's vegetables! I ain't complaining. Give me that carrot. Give me that celery. Mmm. I had a mommy too. Damn. This is my kind of snack. Damn. Hey fatty, make a healthier choice. Mmm. Is that broccoli steamed? Did Michelle Obama actually say that? Yup. See? Evil. Pure evil. Tape a photo of Nicolas Cage, Shrek, or whoever you want on top of the copier. That's so creepy, man. Imagine that, like, I'm, try I'm just trying to make some photocopies. Ah! You want to place it in the perfect position so that when somebody photocopies their paper, because nobody opens it the whole way so they won't see it. But when they get their photocopy, they'll see Nicolas Cage's eyes staring at them. This is straight up nasty. Take some vanilla pudding cups. Take out the vanilla pudding and put mayonnaise. Everybody's favorite diabetes treat. Happy April Fools. I can only imagine opening that and sniffing it. Oh, you know what? how you do this? Take out all the vanilla pudding out of the cup, put in mayo, and then put a little bit of vanilla pudding at the top. So when they like open it and sniff it, mmm, yeah, nothing fishy about this. But when they take a spoonful, they get in some mayo with their vanilla pudding. It's all over now. Where's the pepperonis? If you want to be evil, take a bunch of battery powered alarm clocks and hide them throughout the room so that they keep going off and every time one goes off, you have to find it and turn it off. I hate the alarm sound. It drives me crazy. If you have the tools, you have the materials, and you have a lot of time, you could do something a little more elaborate. Like turn somebody's bedroom into a utility closet. This person actually did it. Imagine opening the door to your bedroom. And you see this. You see trash and a duster and what the hell? What happened to my room? They made the walls out of cardboard like they made it into a room inside a room. Oh, you can do this to your kid. <laughs> Be like, sorry, Billy. Oh my God, if one of you guys have a kid, please try this. And then when the kid comes home from school, just pretend like you don't know who the kid is and you don't know where his bedroom went, and you don't know him, and that you're single and ready to mingle, that poor kid would be hella confused. Somebody please do this. If I had a kid, I would do this. 
in a heartbeat. But I don't. I have dogs. What would they do if I turned their playpen into a utility closet? Genius. Text them random things to make it seem like they subscribe to a subscription service. Thank you for subscribing to Daily Llama Images. Daily charge of $1 will be added to your next cellular bill. Thank you and enjoy. I love getting feedback from our loyal customers. Could you please rate our services on a scale of 1 to 5? Five? 5 being the worst and 1 being the best. Thank you. Hooray! Damn! He ain't even mad about it. Thank you for your prompt and kind response. Because of your kind response, we will send you one more picture on us. Thank you. How is this picture on you if I'm paying for this daily llama images service? Also, my response wasn't prompt. Sorry, your response was incompatible with your automatic communication system. Sorry for any inconvenience, we will provide you with a one-time complimentary llama image. Once again, we are sorry. Is this a customizable service? Can I request only pictures of llamas and hats? <laughs> Like he's not even mad about it, like one dollar. Mom paying for that, I'm gonna get my llama pics daily. If you want people to look stupid at work, print this out and post it on the printer. Canon voiceover. This printer is now equipped with Canon's voiceover technology. Using voiceover is easy. Stand close to the printer and speak one of the following commands. Print, copy, scan. This will really help you find out the genius in your workplace. Hide a baby monitor or a walkie-talkie in a closet or ceiling and meow into it. Meow? Forget meow. Make like ghost sounds. Or like creep somebody out with this. Just like make weird noises. You could really somebody like this. If you could get into somebody's phone, screenshot their desktop, and move all their icons, and set the screenshot as their background. So when they try to click on anything, they can't. Oh, this is devious. Brussels sprouts. They ain't even roasted. They're boiled Brussels sprouts. The steamed Brussels sprouts with chocolate on top. Joke's on you, they still getting chocolate. <laughs> Another Easter prank you can do. Leave a note from the Easter Bunny. Oops, forgot to flush and put some damn jelly beans in the toilet. <laughs> I didn't know Easter Bunny shit. Jelly beans, is that where they come from? Come to think about it, they do look like rabbit poop, but they're rainbow. This is a prank that you should do. This is okay. Maybe you should not do this unless you absolutely hate somebody that has done awful things to you. Somebody put a mouse trap in a cookie jar. Ah! That'll show them. Ain't nobody gonna steal your cookies ever again. This person took out the glue and put milk. Imagine working on your school project and you spurt milk. All over your project, wondering why it don't stick. Put this under the toilet. Make a little hole. Expert mode. I mean, you just gotta angle it right. If you know what I mean. Oh, it gets even harder. That's an even smaller hole. Do you think you can make this hole? Comment below. Hey guys, so April Fools is coming up. If you don't know what to do, I got you. Super easy stuff you could do for April Fools. So like, you don't know what to do? Try these on your mom, your dad, your brother, your dog, your friend, your teacher, your, your principal, the president, your local senator. So your brother or sister, mom or dad are out of the house. Send them a picture of this. Be like, sorry, I spilled milk all over it. Gonna have to get yourself a new one. But it's not milk, it's glue. Dried up glue. So you make this little splooge with glue and soap. Scratch some soap on some glass, put some glue, let it dry, and then peel it off. Congratulations, you have a splooge mark. Let's just say it doesn't have to be milk. Get creative. Serve a dessert grilled cheese. Oh look, we got grilled cheese. You take a bite. It's not actually grilled cheese. It's a cake. It's a loaf of bread cake with frosting that looks like cheese. But it's like, I haven't had this before, but it'd be so confusing. Mmm, look at that ice cream. Looks good. April Fool's is really mashed potato and gravy and a tomato on top. I mean, you could have fooled me. It looks pretty good. Okay, these are harmless, all right? They're gonna get worse. Also, for your broke friend with anxiety, you could print out a 
fake parking ticket. You can download a PDF, just print it out, fold it up, place it in their windshield. It's so good. If you have a lot of googly eyes, you can stick them on everything in your fridge so that whoever opens the fridge is gonna be judged by every condiment bottle left over in there. You open the fridge, you give you that look, what you do. It's funny because this is basically what you do when you open the fridge. You just walk in there, open it, stare at everybody. But guess what, now they're staring at you too. How does it feel? Tell your friend, oh, I got you some brownies. And they'd be like, oh my god. And then you give them a couple of brownies. It's so punny. Cut up a brownie. Get it? You cut up some brownies and then hand them out to everybody like, I got brownies for the whole class. Except they're brownies. Or if you have people over that you don't like, you can make ice cubes with Mentos in them. So when they put them in their soda, it goes boom and explodes everywhere. Again, if you're making something for your class or people you don't like, get onions. Cover them with caramel sauce. Maybe even put nuts on them. And make caramel apples, I mean caramel onions. You can make some apples too and just throw in some onions for the people that you don't like. And when they call you out on it, be like, oh, I don't know how an onion got in there. Everybody else got apples. This is a good one. If you know anybody that has a car at school, put something on the back of it. Honk, wave, and yell, hi, Jason. He doesn't know this is here. April Fool's Day. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be so scared if people like started honking at me and saying, Hi, Leah! I'd be like, How do you know me? Why is everybody honking at me? I'm gonna have to pull over right away, like severe anxiety attack. If you have kids or know any small children, stuff toilet paper in their shoes. So they put them on, they're like, Mom, my shoes don't fit. You guys some big old feet then. You gonna have to go to school barefoot. And then they're gonna start crying. April Fools! <laughs> Freeze your kids morning cereal. So get it ready the night before. Put the cereal, put milk, put it in the freezer. And when the kid's like, Mom, pour me a bowl of Cheerios. And it's frozen. Mom, what's, what's wrong with this? The, the cereal, it don't work. This is just evil. So one of your kid's socks halfway closed. So it's like they try to put it on, they're like, what the hell? Like it's half sewed shut so they can't get it on. And then they'll be like, oh, maybe I should stop. Mm, you know, in your sock. Y'all nasty. April Fool's Day cookies. Make some mashed potato and stir in some black beans. Not even chocolate chip, damn black beans. This dude really made mashed potato and bean cookies. And like, here you go, chocolate chip cookies. I know that's not gonna even smell like chocolate chip cookies. I'm gonna be like, mm. Why does it smell like potato? That's actually a really good idea. You can put a for sale sign in your front yard. Mom, are we moving? Yes, Billy, we're selling the house. But mom, I like it here. Me and dad are moving to Hawaii. You're moving to foster care down the street. Oh, if I had a kid, I would do that on April Fools. I'd be like, oh, pack your bags, Billy. You're going to the foster home. You're gonna live there forever. You're gonna get new parents. Oh, if I was a kid and my parents pulled that shit, I would never be bad again. Like, that's the scariest thing to a kid. April Fool's Day lollipops. Oh my god, they're so cute and colorful. Then you unwrap it and it's broccoli! I'm an adult, I don't care. I like broccoli, raw broccoli. I'll take that shits out of the bag, eat it like chips. You ever wonder why my skin's so good? Is the broccoli. Not really, but I like broccoli. <laughs> you could trick your friends into thinking you're floating. So you pour water on the ground, step away from the water, like angle it real good, and then bam, post it on Facebook, cash in them likes. You tired of the people in your house watching TV all day? Put it on your favorite channel, Cartoon Network, and then tape the sensor on the remote so that anybody that tries to like change the channel, they can't. Oh, if I knew this when I was a kid, this would be perfect. Cause every time me and my brothers we would be watching cartoons, my dad would be like, I gotta use the TV, I gotta watch the news. I hated the news so much. And now I'm an adult and I never watch the news. Hold up, this is not an egg. It is yogurt and a peach. Wow, put a surprise in the mailbox. What the hell is that? Where the f do I get one of those to put in the mailbox?
mailbox to scare somebody. <laughs> you open up your mailbox, you see this where you do. Put a few dye pellets under the cap of your faucet. I know it has blue right here. If you got a red food coloring and put it under the cap of the faucet, like do this at school or something, and then anybody who goes to wash their hands, it's like red and it looks like blood. And then everybody would get like hella creeped out. And best case scenario, school will be canceled. Like they'll have no idea. But you might get suspended, so don't do it at school. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's harmless, but I know somebody might get suspended for this, so do it at your own risk. Do all of these at your own risk. Try the dollar in the book trick. So like, get a fake dollar, or even a real dollar, and just like, cut a corner. Put it in a book in your local library. Let somebody pull it out. Problem? Yes, there is a problem. Parents, you can pack a surprising lunch. Empty out a water bottle, put some Sprite in it. The real joke is it's gonna be flat as fuck. Ooh, switch the chips. So you open up a bag of classic Lay's. Oh my god, it's actually Doritos. I can't believe it's not Lay's. If you have a lot of time and want to put in a lot of effort to mess with somebody, you can get a bunch of shopping carts and make a circle around their car. Like, how would you even get out of this? The good old paint a bar of soap with nail polish and leave it in the shower. So they try to like lather it up. They're like, my soap is broken. What's wrong with it? It will not work. If you got an iPad, tell your friends, I got an iPad for you. Congratulations, you just won an iPad. And then literally give them this iPad, like a pad for your eyes. Or the good old, here I got you an iPhone. Somebody went through all the trouble to make a plastic mold of an iPhone. You could've just gave him an empty box or something. <laughs> Super glue a couple coins to the ground outside. I'll get quarters, everybody picks up quarters. Gorilla glue that shit real good outside. And then just like when people are trying to like pick it up. This is a good one. If you got a lot of time on your hands, you'll need a cereal box, Cool Whip, sprinkles, tape, and a knife. Cut the box in half like this. Put a balloon in. Tape the balloon down real good. Put Cool Whip on the whole thing. And then give it to somebody like, here, I baked you a cake. Sausage's birthday's coming up. I should do this. And then ask them to cut it. And then when they cut it, woo, that balloon gonna pop. And that Cool Whip is gonna go everywhere. If you really wanna gross people out, make some yellow jello. Put it in a pea cup. I don't know. This person dead ass saved their pea cup, cleaned it out, and made jello in it. And they're eating the jello in public. <laughs> Somebody graduated nursing school and they gave out jello shots in the pea cups. Whoa, you can take old toilet paper rolls and then cut eyes in them. And then you put a glow stick in them and then put them in random in bushes at night and freak people out. Oh my god, this is so creepy. Imagine like opening your window at night and seeing this in your backyard. Hell no! This is actually so cool. I want to try this. <laughs>